If you've been keeping up with UFC news, you know that John Jones is set to make his debut sometime this year at heavyweight. According to insiders, there's no official date set yet, but it seems as though the fight is drawing closer. However, while people feel as though he is ready to make his fighting debut, some don't think he has what it takes to actually achieve a victory. Today, we're going to take a close look at a who thinks that John Jones won't win his next UFC fight. First, John Jones has switched divisions, but is he going to keep his success? Obviously, everybody in the UFC knows that John Jones is incredibly talented. He's definitely considered one of the light heavyweight greats with no shortage of titles under his belt. He is incredibly experienced and has actually been on and off champion of the UFC's light heavyweight division for nine whole years. However, just because he is a winner and title champion at light heavyweight does not mean that this is going to translate to the heavyweight division. And heavyweight is where it becomes a totally different game and people that have been practicing at heavyweight their whole careers are waiting for him. What have experts had to say about this? We heard that Daniel Cormier has been offering his opinion. Obviously, Dan Cormier's opinion is quite important, seeing that he has managed to straddle two divisions himself. And if anyone has a right to give their thoughts on this challenge, it is someone who's actually done it for real. And Cormier definitely has. He is someone who knows what it takes, and he knows what Jones is going to be up against in the ring. Cormier believes that while Jones is incredibly talented, he is going to find it difficult when he is up against people who have been doing heavyweight for a long time. Not only that, but John Jones has taken a break from fighting, and this can definitely have an impact on the results of a fight. Cormier thinks that no matter how good John Jones is, it's going to be a huge challenge for him. He revealed, I believe that John Jones will fight at heavyweight until he fights for the belt, but he'll lose to Cyril Gaon or Francis Naganu. I just think that with the time away, with the weight difference, and those guys being who they are, that's the problem. It's not that Jones has gotten worse, it's just that these guys are a different level of heavyweight. On one hand, with so much fighting experience in light heavyweight, John Jones is probably the faster of these fighters. This does give him some advantage, although the weight difference is going to make it more difficult for him. Fans especially think that Cyril Gaon is going to be an especially tough opponent for him, as he is not only powerfully built, but also incredibly fast. But who exactly is John Jones going to be fighting in his UFC heavyweight debut? Like we said earlier, even the insiders don't have the exact names yet. However, this doesn't mean that we have nothing to go off of. We know that Francis Naganu is going to be paired up against Cyril Gaon, and the results of this fight are likely going to have an impact on who John Jones ends up facing. There's a reason why John Jones is expected to have a difficult time against Cyril Gaon. When it comes to the the UFC heavyweight division, Gon's right there at the top. He has an incredible history and has earned 10 wins in a row and a record for never having been beaten in the UFC. The last time that John Jones was up to fight was back in February 2020. It's hard to believe that was almost two years ago. He was scheduled to fight Stipe Miocic, but that ended up never happening. There is potential that this fight might end up being rescheduled, but people who have been watching the division closely think it is more likely to be somebody else. How come John Jones, his debut for the heavyweight division, has been delayed for two years? This is one of those questions that there's a variety of answers to. Firstly, Jones is debating quite a lot of money. Although quite a lot is putting it nicely, it's actually an absurd amount of money. Absurd is exactly the word that Dana White used to describe it when he revealed how demanding John Jones was in negotiations. Ask the head of the UFC, White makes the final calls. Jones insists that he asked the UFC for a pay raise, and they turned him down. Well, in fact, Dana White told a different story. White revealed that Jones approached his lawyer and informed the lawyer that he wanted exactly what Deontay Wilder was paid for his fight. This is around 30 million dollars, which is a crazy amount of money to demand from someone. Everyone knows that fighting and boxing can be incredibly lucrative, but it is extremely rare for a fighter to get paid 30 million dollars for a single fight. The fact that Jones was demanding this kind of money for his first ever fight in that division is just delusional. But this wasn't the only thing that happened, right? John Jones was actually arrested in Las Vegas in September of last year. He faced charges of battery and domestic violence and tampering with a vehicle. This arrest came just hours after his induction to the UFC Hall of Fame, and he should have been incredibly happy happy and celebrating. Instead, he decided to allegedly assault his fiance. When the police arrived at the hotel, his fiance, Jesse Moses, was seen looking distressed with blood on her lip and her clothes. She fled the hotel room. The situation got so bad that one of the couple's children actually had to ask a hotel employee to call the police. When the police arrived, he was so angry at being reprimanded for his behavior that he headbutted the hood of a patrol vehicle. It's not the first time that John Jones has behaved like this, and this kind of behavior from him in the past has damaged his career and endorsements. We are definitely not surprised that this kind of thing is potentially putting back his fight. People are definitely beginning to lose patience with John Jones. Daniel Cormier, who is probably one of John Jones' longest rivals, has more opinions on this too. He has been quick to criticize John Jones for having a lot of talk while not actually doing any fighting himself. Regardless of what the reasons are, you can't deny that Jones simply hasn't been in the ring for quite a long time. If he's at the point in his life where he's sitting back and watching all the fighting happen instead of doing it, surely he should be criticizing so many others. On his podcast, 
asked, Dan revealed the following. For me, it's about John Jones needs to fight. At some point, you gotta fight. You gotta fight. It's one thing to be the champion defending the title. Even when him and I were going through our thing, he would get suspended, but then he would come back and he would fight. Right now, he's just talking. It's like, when are you gonna fight? Because as bad as it was, Francis was heard. Francis had a bad training camp. All those things, Francis still fought. When did John Jones criticize other fighters? After the fight between Francis Nagano and Cyril Gaon came to a close after 25 minutes, Jones took to Twitter. He immediately laid into both fighters, not only criticizing both of their performances, but insinuating that he could beat both of them easily. He said, I love how everyone gets so impressed with the new guy. If this is the apex of heavyweight fighting, I am excited about it. Got some more records to break. At the end of the day, I am blanking them both up. It's definitely a lot easier to sit in front of your computer or on your phone than get in the ring and do any fighting yourself. Most people who watch fights and then have opinions on Twitter are people who have no hopes of ever competing in the UFC. But obviously, John Jones is not like this. The fact that his fight is being put off repeatedly for two years means that it's a bit hypocritical of him to be talking when he has the chance to do some actual fighting. Cormier definitely didn't like this little outburst. He pointed out that even though Francis Nagano was injured, he still went out and fought in the ring. This is more than John Jones has done in years. He said, so you could say, well, they're not that good, but ultimately, they're still in there doing their thing. Why aren't you in there doing your thing? You are one of the most talented mixed martial artists of all time. Why aren't you in there doing your thing against these guys, opposed to judging them? Because for all the bad blood and all the bad stuff between Francis and the UFC right now, Francis still went out there. He went out there, he fought her, and he got a victory. Daniel Cormier might be a little bit outspoken with his views, but you can't deny he has a point. It will definitely be interesting to see when John Jones eventually does make a return to the UFC, how he'll handle the division weight increase, and whether or not he can actually keep up with all his talk. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. We'll see you next time.